subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Coro Blue S9 Plus unboxings and first impression. Now, last year I unboxed the S8 Plus and you could see that the box basically looks the same, but one thing I did notice about this year's edition is Samsung didn't put the specs on the back. They just talked about what the package includes. So you can see on the S8 Plus, it showed the specs here, just the packaging. And earlier we unboxed the S9 Plus and I brought both of them to the channel this year because last year when I got the S8 Plus, somebody was asking about where's the small S8 and stuff like that. So pulling it off, it's the same affair. If you've seen the video earlier, we pull it open and you can see Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Let's open this up. You can see there's a SIM card eject tool right there. Some more warranty information. We'll read that later when you know what. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull the phone out and see what it looks like. And bam, there it is. The Coral Blue Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And wow, this thing is a stunner as well. Just like the Lilac Purple. But I think the Lilac Purple might stand out a little bit more than this guy, but let's go ahead and peel this off the back and you can see not quite like the coral blue of the past on the S7 Edge and the S8 Plus. So it's a little bit different. It's more bluish than like that coral like ocean look. It's just really blue. So if you like blue, you're gonna really like this color quite a bit. Let's put that off to the side and take a look at what is in the box right here. So same thing as the smaller device, you get the AKG headphones, fast charger, USB-C connector, as well as a USB-C cable to plug into your fast charger and it's nice to see that we pay less than a thousand bucks for a phone and we still get a fast charger included in the box <laughs> i'm talking to you apple okay so let's go ahead and boot this thing up and while we talk about it we will compare it in size to a different phone so you can see again secured by knox it didn't say that on prior samsung devices but let's take a look at it against the s8 plus and you could see about the same device there when it comes to design and build. I mean, it's only a hair shorter, just a hair, as you can see right there. And it's just a little bit wider, it feels like, too. Just slightly, ever so slightly wider there. Just very, very little. So almost the same exact build. And this might make you question if it's even worth it to update from an S8 Plus to an S9 Plus. But we will be covering that fully in detail. So you might want to be subscribed to see that. And taking a look at this next to the smaller Galaxy S9, you can see definitely much bigger than this phone. So if you're not into big phones, you're definitely not going to like the S9 Plus. Okay, so one thing to point out here on the S9 Plus, just like the smaller device, you have the ability to change the transparency of notifications. That's a nice new feature here in this device. Let's go to next and more and you can see you get all this Google stuff. And you know what? It actually takes quite a bit of time to get in this device. You have to do all this Google plus Samsung stuff plus the intelligence scan plus agree to the terms and services from both companies. So this is one of those phones that takes quite a while to actually get into. But once you're in, then you get to start to really enjoy the phone. You can see just right here all of this stuff just to get in. And finally, we are in the device. Okay, so we are now in the device and you can see if we go into settings here and we go down into display, you actually have to enable 2K if you want that full 2K resolution. So we're gonna go ahead and apply that really quickly to get that resolution right out of the box. And then if we go down to about phone and we take a look at the software information, you're gonna see this is Android 8.0 Oreo, but the Pixel 2 is already an 8.1, so even out of the box, it's still behind in software. But where you're not behind is the new Samsung Experience version, and these phones actually feel better out of the box automatically over the S8. I, I remember the S8 feeling a little bit, you know, laggy right out of the box when I first got it, but this one right here is feeling much better to start, although I will be disabling this annoying Bixby right here live on this unboxing video. And taking a look at the bottom, you can see that you now have the new design of the speaker because this is stereo speakers. You have speaker coming out here, speaker coming out the top, USB-C headphone jack with Dolby Atmos feature included in this. So if you go right here, you can see Dolby Atmos. We'll have to try that out and see how that works on the device. But overall, you know what? This device looks very similar. Uh, it just feels just a little bit wider. But if you have a Galaxy Note 8, it's going to be questionable whether that's going to be worth it for you to go ahead and upgrade. I personally probably wouldn't do that just because this phone does not give you an S Pen. But you can see how the fingerprint scanner has moved below the camera from the top right on the Galaxy S8 Plus. They kind of took the Note 8 series and just flipped it sideways and put it, you know, more vertical. So this was horizontal. Then they put this one vertical here for S9 Plus. So, you know, design overall, though, is definitely stellar. The sides feel a little bit different 
than the sides on the Galaxy S8 Plus. So look at these notifications. Those are pretty hot though. I do like these notifications look right here as well. So let's take a look at that camera on the rear. So you can see that if we open up the camera, this is the first time you're gonna have to hit okay. They're not gonna turn on location tags. So the real difference here between this one and the small one is just one feature, live focus, which is essentially a portrait mode that was on the Note 8. They brought it here to the S8 Plus Pro mode, panorama, you got food, live focus, auto, super slow-mo. AR emoji, which is gonna make your own emoji of yourself, which a lot of people are saying is creepy. We'll have to see if it really is in my future reviews of this phone, but hyperlapse. And uh, you can go into the pro mode and actually use that new variable aperture camera, which actually opens up here on the main camera. So if we hit this right here and we hit the F1.5, you can switch between F1.5 and F2.4. And I've already been taking some samples with the Lilac version. I could tell you right now, the cameras on these devices are stunning, but it's gonna be a close tie to me with the Pixel 2. So I'm gonna have to actually compare it against the Pixel 2 to see if it reigns supreme as the best camera also versus the iPhone 10. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this unboxing video of the S9 Plus. My first impressions are it doesn't look like it's a huge update from the S8 Plus. Yes, you get the dual camera, but that live focus is not something that, you know, is a must. You got selective focus on the S8 Plus. If you're coming from anything below an S8 series phone, this is gonna be a nice update. If you're on an S7, S7 Edge, S6, S6 Edge, Note 5, any of those phones, this might be a nice upgrade. Note 5 users might wanna hold off for the Note next Note if you did use your S Pen a lot, but this will feel like an amazing upgrade. Overall, it, on its own though, it's a beautiful device. Definitely competitive with the best of the best in the smartphone world right now. And we'll be comparing them to a lot of the best of the best. So you might want to stay subscribed for that. Any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Nick here helping you to master your technology. I